What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things to come out of Gamergate 2, uh, aside from a widespread awareness of Sweet Baby Inc. and uh, these type of DEI uh, consultant companies, and the fact that most of these studios are completely corrupted with the woke mind virus before they even invite these demons into the house. Remember, the call is coming from inside the home. Uh, was also the awareness of Black Girl Gamers and their associated group, and of course, they came to light like most of these uh, people if they had just not said anything they would have kept going along we really probably wouldn't have noticed too much beyond the video here and there but no 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 they had to say something and this of course culminated in them uh, threatening to sue that park place run by john f trent and basically sue me sue any you sue any youtuber covering this story which they were met with the resounding bring it Bring it, because we've all seen enough uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard YouTube uh, <laughs> trials, and we've all seen the legal bites analysis to know that something called discovery would happen. And, uh, oh, I don't think they want us looking into their emails. But here we have that part place attorney calls Black Girl Gamers allegations of defamation meritless and ridiculous. And so, of course, let's see. Tension is heating up between black girl gamers in that park place after a back and forth over a black girl gamers discriminatory practices within the video game industry following a myriad of controversies stemming from a DEI shakedown group, Sweet Baby Inc. Black Girl Gamers has now issued a cease and desist to the entertainment news group, which has been responded to by their counsel, Ron Coleman. The fight started when ace journalist John Trent discovered a tweet from Black Girl Gamers stating that looking for black women content creators that make Dungeons and Dragons content for some potential brand work hit us up. So right there, only looking for black women content creators. Uh, and there's the tweet, because one thing we like to do uh, here is uh, see those receipts. And uh, thankfully, sites like Fandom Pulse and That Part Place always do show the receipts, which is what makes the things like this even funnier. Uh, also, I think you should note, when I heard that uh, That Part Place had gotten a cease and desist from Black Girl Gamers, I thought in my head, I was like, I bet you they just found one of these forms on the internet and just changed some of the names and filled it out. And uh, I was watching uh, the live stream with Valiant Renegade. They were talking about this. And their lawyer, Ron Coleman, said they basically did just that. They just took a cease and desist off the internet, and it was laughable. They just changed some names. Uh, so here we go. Of course, that receipt being shown. The post clearly states that your job requirements are being black and female, which is by definition uh, discriminatory posting against anyone who doesn't identify as black or female. And we find out even if you're a white male and you identify as black and female, they don't take that. So discriminatory. Oh, horrible, horrible. Uh, that Park Place called the matter out in an article titled Forspoken consultant black girl gamers appears to discriminate in their hiring practices while claiming they are being harassed. Yeah, it's a long title. And we did cover that. So I would be liable if they're suing anyone that covered it. I'm on the list. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, after this article went viral, black girl gamers threatened legal action against that part place. And John Trent followed up with another article titled Forspoken Consultant Black Girl Gamers Threatens Legal Action Against That Park Place and Claims They Are Committed to Diversity and Inclusion, Including Their Non-Discriminatory Hiring Practices, which we also found out when further looked into their Black Girl Gamers uh, hiring practices are actually locked, password locked on their site. So you have to get permission to even look at them. Uh, the article restated their claims and showed the evidence regarding Black Girl Gamers discriminatory practices within the tweet in question once more, presenting factual evidence of their misdeeds. Now Black Girls Gamers has issued a cease and desist to that part place in which they state, we demand that you immediately cease and desist from posting or displaying any videos and or comments about Miss Lopez and Black Girl Gamers. We demand that by April 5th, 2024, you remove any and all links and references to videos, i.e. YouTube or Twitch. Yeah, that comments upon us uh, or visually depicts Miss Lopez. Yeah, and there's their cease and desist, which again, we find out was in fact just a commonly, uh, you could find this on the internet and just swapped out a few things. 
The letter goes on to describe that part place as hurtful, baseless, and defamatory. Despite that part place posting receipts of what black girl gamers did, they further claim that the results of the posts have been racist, sexist, and misogynistic communications directed at Miss Lopez and BGG. Uh, oh no, what, what happened? What ha oh no, how terrible, that's just... That's just awful. How terrible. Oh, no. I just can't help but think of it every time I hear that. Uh, Ron Coleman replied to the letter stating, We have reviewed your demands and, on consideration, find them both meritless and ridiculous for reasons. <laughs> your demands are rejected in the whole, and we consider the matter closed. So basically, denied. Cease and desist, denied. That Park Place is not willing to back down from honest, accurate video game journalism due to attempted lawfare uh, from la <laughs> lawfare from a shakedown group. As the culture wars are heating up in video games, the woke are doing all they can to hide their bad behavior, and they know the public doesn't want their nonsense pushing into the video game medium. Black Girl Gamers is a symptom of an overall cause of wokeism, and Fandom Pulse stands with that part place for being able to speak the truth to power in video games and other entertainment media. And, well, the Badger Legion stands with you firmly, as does the Angry Badger himself. Yeah, ridiculous. The season desist was ridiculous. And, of course, this was... And I, please, elevate it. Please, 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 please elevate it. Rampancy, let's see. Let's see what they try to do next. Or maybe if they actually are smart, they just don't bring it up again and fall away into obscurity. Either way, good for that park place. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Make sure to uh, like, share, and sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And uh, mm. well, bye.